Okay, so tell me, um, what are your thoughts on the idea of the one world government? Um, I said there's two thoughts on that, right? There'll be one will come from a religious perspective, and the other most from like a secular, right? So we understand according to the Holy Scriptures that everybody in the world they're gonna claim to this one thing, this one world government, because of unity. For the sake of unity and getting along, for the sake of peace, everybody's going to love this thing called one world government. Um, that would be the sort of secular perspective. Everybody's going to be taken care of in regards to FEMA camps, in regards to rations, in regards to um, food, clothing, shelter. Everyone's going to be the same. Um, but when it comes to the Holy Scriptures, we understand that this one world government, nothing good can really come from it. Um, <laughs> because even from that, you have to start to... Um, Diminish your own beliefs if you're mm. claiming to support the government. Um, you'd have to coexist with um, someone who's, let's say, a follower of Islam. Mm. We understand we don't have the same beliefs um, as, as a Muslim would. So if we're claiming to this one world religion, right, or so, sorry, one world government, whatever it may be, because they do coincide the same way, yeah. we'd have yeah. to pick up other doctrines, other beliefs, some of these things. And we understand that this itself is not good according to all the scriptures all right great wonderful um but let me take you back to the secular point of view what what instinct would you think a person's would have or what you part of human nature because because the globalists they are very they are they're very intelligent people so they, they know exactly how like um, my guy yuval said they have hacked the human beings and they know how human beings work so I'm I'm investigating what instincts that that the whole world or majority of the globe will be operating under so that they accept the circular point of view of globalization. What inside of me as a human being would want to accept this without even thinking about it? Because you mentioned the fact that a, a world peace, number one, a food for everybody. Um, yeah. Everybody will, will, will be living in, in some sense, in, in, in some form of a, 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 a utopian society, we are going to alleviate suffering. So what part of me as an individual would want to, so to speak, give up my, my suffering, give up my, my responsibility so that the state and the other powers that be would, would, would take care of me? And that's how I'm thinking about it. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a key... Um, theology and sort of ideology that, that goes around most like satanic groups and even people who, who don't really acclaim to Satanism um, you've got bankers, lawyers, accountants whatever it may be, they believe in this thing called order out of chaos, order out of chaos now I believe strongly strongly, strongly, strongly my bro very soon there's going to be the next big event, the next big event whether that be war, whether it be outbreak whether it be um, um, civil wars in certain countries. Um, but it's just... already started. It's, it, it's already started. Watch Russia, exactly. watch Ukraine, watch COVID-19. Exactly. And it's a cyclical thing. Um, exactly. Without cutting you short, before, yeah. World War, before World War II or, or World War I, if I could rem re re remember clearly, there was that plague. There was disease. There, 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 there were mm. farming. There were all those things. It's almost like we're, 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 we're building, we're reliving history all together. And we haven't learned from the patterns of history that disease, world disease comes first of farming or war and then farming. And it's all to build a new system. It's all to build something new. Just like the idea of the fourth industrialized revolution that I'm reading from Carl Schwab's right now. But you can continue. Yes, yeah, so... Um... Even then, like the, the the main point that I was saying is that order out of chaos. We find that all of these things are happening around the world right now. Um, even this morning, right? Um, I looked on the BBC because I like to keep up with like world affairs, right? And um, a notification came on my phone to say that I believe is Xi Jinping. Um, mm -hmm. He's now he's he's now got another term in office um, in China. And all of these things, um, they they're sort of smaller cogs. To, 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 the, to, the, to the wider machine of the book revelation, which we see that we're, we're even living in as of right now. So um, I'd say, why would somebody give themselves over to the system? Because chaos is going to ensue. And 
they're going to come together. These, again, global elites are going to come together and say, okay, we are the saviors for you guys. Right now, this famine, we have food. We own all of these major global industries. And that's so exactly what they're doing. They're, they're, they're buying up the farmlands. That's exactly, exactly what they're doing. Exactly, okay. exactly. Now, I'm not too sure about like the, um, you've got like the smaller Caribbean countries, right? But I know for a fact they're doing that in the UK. I know for a fact they're doing that in the, in the US. You see what I'm saying? So they own literally everything. And watch this. If I own every single thing about you, I own you. You see what I'm saying? So that's why somebody would, would therefore um, um, give up their privacy rights. That's why somebody would willfully do these sorts of things. When I look at the Holy Scriptures, I see that the mark of the beast isn't going to be forced upon somebody. I'll tell you why. Because you cannot force worship. Worship has to be willful. In order for worship to be genuine, it has to be willful. It has to be that willful giving up of themselves. So people are going to look at their children and see that they haven't got food to provide for their children. It goes, we look at that, their husbands and wives and, and saying, maybe I can't provide for you. I therefore need to go and give up my life, my very salvation itself. 